Hello everyone. Welcome to new video off Whiteout Survival. Today I have come with a new guide video for you. Time to spend our gems. Because today I am going to show how you should use your gems efficiently. I have already made a guide on this, but that is outdated. So today I am back with updated guide on how you should use gems in Whiteout Survival as free to play player. Let's jump in our video. 1. Use gems on Lucky Wheel. This is the best 10 biggest use of gems. Lucky Wheel is an event where you get chance to unlock mythic hero using gems. This is the best chance for free to play players to become strong in this game because pay to win players are already strong as they can get as many hero shards as they want. But free to play players don't get chance to collect mythic hero shards so Lucky Wheel is golden opportunity for them. If you are a free to play player, always save your gems. And when Lucky Will comes, use your gems. I have already showed the calculation. How many gems you should use to get how many shards. So today I will not show the calculation of Lucky Wheel. Today I will show some spins of Lucky Wheel. If you want to know the calculation, check my guide on Lucky Wheel. Link given in pinned comment. Let's spin some Lucky Wheels. Lucky Wheel comes with SBS or King of Icefield. If you spin the wheel, you will get points for SBS or King of Icefield at same time. Lucky Wheel is a three-day long event, but you get Lucky Wheel task only on first two days. So if you are planning to spin wheel, do it on first two days. You will not get point for spinning on third day. If you are a free-to-play player, you should do 20 spins each day. Total you will do 40 spins. If you do 40 spins, you will get the reward of 35 spin milestone. If you have saved huge amount of gems, you can do 30 spins each day and you should try for 70 spin milestone reward. In this video, I am showing 40 spins. See, I have got point for SVS. I used my gems in Lucky Will to get hero shards. And at the same time, I completed SVS. Let's unlock our new hero. This is the best 10 biggest use of gems. Moving to our next method. 2. Hall of Heroes. This is an event where free to play players can get mythic hero shards using gems. If you don't want Mythic Hero Shards, there are also other options. You have to buy Mark of Valor using gems. And using the Mark of Valor, you can get anything as you want. You will get one Mark of Valor for free. But you have to get more Mark of Valor using gems. Hall of Heroes comes with Alliance Mobilization. One Mark of Valor costs 150 gems. You can buy 99 Mark of Valor. 99 Mark of Valor costs 90 Ninian 150 equals 14,850 gems. In Alliance Mobilization, you can get a task, use 15k gems. If the task, use 15k gems is available, accept the task. After that, by Mark of Valor, if you are getting the task, use 50k gems. It will be extremely high. Now I am going to buy Mark of Valor. I have got Mark of Valor. Using this Mark of Valor, you can get anything, but I suggest to get current generation mythic hero and previous widget. This is the second best use of gems after Lucky Wheel. Moving to our next method. 3. Activate VIP. VIP is one of the most important benefit. It will give you lots of items. VIP can give you extra construction speed, extra production speed and many other things. But you will get these benefit only if you have activated the VIP. If you go higher VIP level, you will get better benefit. There are many amount of gems of activation of VIP. I suggest to use 10k gems. Using 10k gems, you can use VIP for 30 days. But you should use gems only to activate VIP. Don't use gems to increase VIP level. I have discussed in VIP guy. Why you should use gems to activate VIP and why you should not use gems to increase VIP level. Link given in pinned comment. 
you should activate VIP when Alliance mobilization is going on. In Alliance mobilization, you can get a task, use 10k gems, accept the task and use 10k gems to activate VIP. This is one of the best uses of gem. Moving to our next method. 4. Shop. There are several shops where you can use gems. Nomadic Merchant is a shop where you can get some useful items, but don't buy anything which is available. Buy only that item which you need and which has a good discount. If any item has low discount, avoid it. You can also use gems to refresh Nomadic Merchant, but don't refresh too much times. Wait for a good discount. If you are not getting, refresh. Next shop is Mystery Shop. You can use gems to refresh. You should always find good items with discount to Mystery Shop. If you don't find, refresh. But don't use too much gems to refresh. Next shop is VIP Shop. This is the shop where you get items with huge discount. You can use gems to buy anything of your choice. But don't buy something which you don't need. You need to reach higher VIP level to get better item in VIP Shop. VIP Shop is one of the best place to spend gems for free to play players. If you want to know more about other shop, check Shop Guy. Link given in pinned comment. Moving to our next method. 5. City Bonus. City Bonus has two parts, Wars and Growth. Both are useful to spend gems. First, there is Protection. Protection can save you from all type of attack. There are five type of protection, rechargeable, 2R, 8R, 24R, and 72R. Activate them depending on your situation. If any big war is going on in your server, you can use 8R protection. Rechargeable protection is useful for SVS. If you are taking break, you can use 72R protection. Think and decide which protection you want to use and use gems to turn on protection. Decide protection, there are some combat bonus in wars. Counter Recon is the most important bonus, even if you are not engaged in any fight. You should turn on Counter Recon when war is going on. To our Counter Recon is good for any short combat event. 8 our Counter Recon is good for any long combat event. If you are a free to play player, you must use Counter Recon. There are more city bonus, but all of them are not for free to play players. These bonus are useful for castle battle. If you are a free to play player, you can use only troops health and deployment capacity. For castle battle, you should turn on bonus for 12 hours. If you want to turn on any bonus for 12 hour, it will cost 20k gems. 20k gem is very high amount for free to play players. So don't try to turn on all bonus if you are free to play. Only turn on troops health and deployment capacity for 12 hour. If you don't want to turn on any bonus, you can avoid. Bonus are useful for the player who is going to be rally captain. Free to play players don't need to be rally captain. So, if you want to avoid the bonus, you can. But you must use counter recon. Another part of city bonus is growth. Random teleporter is useful if you want to fight face to face. Random teleporter is important. If you are fighting anyone face to face and you are losing. You can use random teleporter to escape. But you don't need to use gems for random teleporter. Because you get rechargeable in good amount. Next thing is gathering speed. This is extremely important item. If you are going to gather in tiles, you should use gathering speed. It boosts your gathering of food, wood, coal, iron. Always use the 24 hour gathering speed. Because it is more efficient. And you have to use it before you dispatch your troops. Let me show you. I have activated gathering speed for next 24 hour. Moving to our next method. 6. Alliance help. Your alliance research needs contribution. There are two type of contribution, resource contribution and gen contribution. If you are a free to play player, you should do resource contribution. But if you want, you can do a small amount of gem contribution. Don't use high amount of gem contribution. With resource contribution, use a small amount of gem contribution. These are all places 
where you should use gems as free to play player. Now, there are some places where you should never use gems as free to play player. Two of them, I already said. First, you should never use gems to increase VIP level. Second, you should never use gems to activate all city bonus. There is one more place where you should never use gem as free to play player. Speed up. You should never use gems to speed up any progress like construction, research, training. If you want, you can use normal speed ups, but don't use gem as speed up. See here, I am training my troops. If I want, I can use speed up, but we should never use gem as speed up. These are the places where you should never use gem as free to play. This is how you can use gems. I have already made a guy, how to get gem as free to play. You can check the guy, link given in pinned comment. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.